Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to day two in Paris. Um, I just realized there is no one in my dorm room, so I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a tour. So we've got the door and it's got like some hangers and stuff. And then there is eight beds total. And there's a little sink here for like brushing your teeth, which is really handy. And so this is my bed. And I've just got like <laughs> some socks drying that I washed while I was in the shower this morning. But it's such a cute room. There's like wooden beams on the ceiling and yeah it's just a really cute place and so this is the view we're on the fourth floor i believe so it goes down a bit but yeah and there are a decent amount of plugs but there's also a really nice kitchen with like a stove and everything and the lobby is really nice they have free breakfast which is always good for saving money so yeah i really recommend this hostel it's called Woods Hotel Hostel Woodstock I think in Paris and it's the second cheapest one on booking.com and it had some like iffy reviews but I'm like everything's been great honestly it's like one of the nicest hostels I've stayed in so so I'm about to head out for the day it's like midday already I've just been like taking my time getting ready but um I'm going to go see the catacombs today and also I'm going to go up the Eiffel Tower today. I don't know whether I want to wait till the evening and then like stay up there for a bit and get some nice photos at night time but I don't know or I could go like now. I don't know when it'll be busier I guess I should look that up. I know that I'm going to take the stairs up to the second to top floor and then get the elevator the rest because I've read that there's some stuff on the first floor that um you like skip if you take the elevator the whole way so i want to see that and it's also cheaper to take the stairs the first part you end up saving like 350 or 450 euro or something like that which <laughs> seems like not a lot but that's like at least one meal oh my god it's 12 30 and i'm only just leaving what am i doing with my life there's so much to do in paris and i am wasting my time <laughs> for literally two hours oh my gosh so many steps it's so crazy to think that i'm 20 meters underground right now There were so many stairs. This is so cool. In kind of like a creepy way, but that's really cool. So it's four o'clock now. I think I might go to the Arc de Triomphe and then go back to the hostel and make an early dinner and then I'm gonna go up the Eiffel Tower. I always 
accidentally make way too much pasta. This isn't even a flat plate. <laughs> it's a bowl. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Okay, this is how far we got. It's also not even sexy yet. Nobody eats dinner this early. <laughs> Alright, so it's just seven now and I'm going to the Eiffel Tower. The sun sets in about two and a half hours. So hopefully I'll be able to get up to the top to get photos during daylight and the night time. But I'm taking the stairs and usually there's not a very big line. We'll see, I've got my blanket scarf and my sweatshirt and it should be good. Oh my god, look at the lines for the elevators. And the line for the stairs is so small. Begins. I feel like this is going to be a lot of work, but the line was way shorter and it was quite a bit cheaper as well. <laughs> Made it to the first floor. It only took like five minutes, it's not that far, but I think the next one's a lot further away. feels so weird. Yes, I'm climbing up in jandals. My other shoes have been hurting my feet, so this is this is what we're doing. There's freaking gift shops up here. What the heck? In a restaurant. There's the elevator line, which actually isn't that long anymore. And there's the stairs line over here with like no people in it. Okay, let's keep going. That actually was not too bad of a climb at all. Between the um, ground and the first floor is like five minutes if you don't stop on the stairs. And same with the um, first and second floor. I thought it would be way worse. I thought I'd be climbing for like half an hour, but it's only like 10 minutes total. Here we go. It's like a 45 minute to an hour long wait to get the elevator to the top and you can't take stairs, you have to get the elevator. Oh my god, I just stood up the top for literally an hour doing a time lapse of the sunset and I started it at 9.22 because um, the weather said the sun was going to set at 9.32 so I was like, yeah 10 minutes, not a problem, I can do that. And then I stopped at 10.22 because it wasn't even like completely dark yet and I could feel my fingers freezing off and they were starting to get to the point where it was getting like almost a warm feeling so I was like nope, I need to stop and so I did. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even know that the Sky Tower was 4 meters taller than the Eiffel Tower. That's pretty cool. Oh my god. 
god, it is so cold. I'm shivering. I just want to be at the bottom. I am coming down the stairs to the first floor and then I have to go down those stairs and it feels like it's taking a lot longer to go down them than it did to come up because I'm so cold and I just want to be down them. I made it. I feel like I've probably got hypothermia or something. Okay. I'm almost home. I just got off the metro so now I just have to walk back to the hostel but I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's almost midnight. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.